offering is the truth. I think. Like, just give me like some facts or like some statements that like proves that the Earth is round. Like, without showing me an image of the Earth. Can you do that? Off the top of my head, no. Prove to you right now that it's round? Huh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I could, probably couldn't really. I cannot prove that. I just went to school and they they say that to me and suppose that's real. We've been told that our whole lives, so I, I can't prove anything. Look at a tall ship sailing out over the water, eventually you'll start to lose sight of the bottom of the ship until the point where all you can see is the very top of the mast because of the curvature of the earth. You can't see the boat, but watch what happens when we zoom in with the telescope. The boat comes right back into view, proving that the boat does not go over a body of curved water. Science is lying to you. You show them how the math works for the curvature of the Earth. Curvature of the Earth. Curvature of the Earth. how you're not going to be able to see something once it's past a particular point on the horizon uh, via the curvature. You can see, you can just tell by looking, if you can see the distance, there is natural curvature to the earth. What do we raise with? We raise with space, kid, space, 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 space. Red flag. Red flag. Why do they want to get kids with space so hard? Because I know that's when the indoctrination sets in as kids. It started with the Big Bang, and everyone fucking believes that. Zero evidence. No one knows anything about the Big Bang Theory, but if you say you believe in it, you're considered a smart person. You don't know shit about it. You know nothing about it. Out of God nothing, sucks. out of nothing, everything just came about and just exploded. Where's the evidence? There's no fucking evidence of that. It's magic. So shut the fuck up with this fucking Big Bang Theory shit. Magic. That's magic. You have magic. no evidence, and you like cling on to it with zero evidence. You, you, you didn't even know that a priest came up with that shit. Uh, I, yeah, I did. A priest, not a scientist, a priest. It's hard to find the truth being a peasant because I don't have access to, you know, high level technology. We have to uh, figure it out for ourselves.
I must say that Admiral Byrd, our guest tonight, is not only our greatest living explorer, but he's been an inspiration to countless Americans. Is there any unexplored land left on this earth that might appeal to adventurous young Americans? Uh, yes, there is. And not up around the North Pole, because it's getting crowded up there now, because they find out it's really usable, not only to live in, but militarily. But strangely enough, there is left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. But more important than that, it's, uh, it has to do with the future uh, of the nation, those to come after us, or even uh, during your lifetime. Because it happens to be an untouched reservoir of natural resources. And in the future, I can see a time when it will be very, very important. Very, very important. We had added nearly half a million square miles to the Pacific Ocean. And here is our journey's end. At length we sighted that great natural phenomenon, the ice barrier. Started alongside the barrier with our ships, suddenly the edge That's all. You've got to know your limitations, Truman. It's not that we believe something ridiculous and you don't you you don't believe it. It's not about that. It's about we actually don't know what we're on. We always say that. We don't know but based on all the shit that we got by the mainstream, we don't believe that. Right. You believe that. You believe that. When you realize NASA, you know, NASA get nine, they got 19.3 billion in taxpayers' money this year. And all they have to do is enough of Hollywood to give us enough photos and stories and 
hypnotizes and, and connects with that uh, inner child, inner child, inner child. And so they, they send these rockets up, but they don't really go anywhere. Yeah, if you back. watch the trajectory, right. it's never straight. It's never straight. It's never Where straight. Where are you going? Now, did you know that all rockets are launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida? Now, what's beside Florida? The ocean. You know what's in the ocean beside Florida? The Bermuda Triangle. Now, why don't they launch rockets from Texas, Colorado, or Kentucky? Because there's no ocean there for them to fall back into. And that is why they launched from Cape Canaveral, so they can drop it right in the Bermuda Triangle. And nobody ever know, nobody ever see, because nobody goes there. Space shuttles, they do it a little different, but it's still pretty simple how they pull it off. You ever notice once the shuttle gets up so high, its boosters fall down into what? The ocean, the Bermuda Triangle. Sorry to tell you. Sorry to tell you. Sorry to tell you. The only thing that's been to space. Is your imagination. Is your imagination. Is your imagination. There is no such thing as space. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Look at that. They always show the little, you know, little solar panel on the side. Oh, look at that. Get out of here. Look at that. Get out of here. Look at that. What, the Green Lantern fart? What is that? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> saying that what you're looking up in the sky isn't there it's there but what they're telling us it is 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 not real Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now. We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. 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 Although the sun is at all times above and parallel to the Earth's surface, he appears to ascend the firmament from morning until noon, and to descend and sink below the horizon at evening. This arises from a simple and everywhere visible law of perspective. Bearing these phenomena in mind, it will easily be seen how the sun, although always parallel to the surface of the Earth, must appear to ascend when approaching and descend after leaving the meridian or noonday position. At a certain point, the line of sight to the object and the apparently uprising surface of the earth upon or over which it stands will converge to the angle which constitutes the vanishing point or the horizon beyond which it will be invisible. It is obvious to any child and sovereign-minded adult that the sun, moon, stars, and planets, every light in the sky above, revolves around the motionless earth beneath our feet.
it is also plain to see that the sun and moon are both approximately the same size and situated relatively close to earth. Close to earth. not millions upon millions of miles away. Some of the earliest high-altitude aeronauts confirmed the flat Earth. In 1931, Auguste Picard reached an altitude of 51,775 feet, much higher than any plane you've been on. Picard described the Earth as a flat disk with upturned edge. No, you've never seen the curvature of the Earth from an airplane window. Fortunately, you don't have to be a death-defying aeronaut to see what's up there. What you're seeing right now is a video from 121,000 feet. I remember when I first saw this, I was just dumbfounded because it didn't match anything that I've watched before. Whenever you're shown a picture of a high-altitude balloon or even a high flight, you're shown something phony like this. This isn't once in a while, this is the standard. It turns out that these so-called curvature photos and videos were all shot with a fisheye or ultra-wide angled lens to get this effect. That's a fact. It's a curvature illusion. illusion. For all of our lives, we're inundated with supposed pictures from space. High altitude balloons finally gave us a vision of what the Earth truly looks like from high up. Here's a great example of the standard deception. As you can see by the bent rope, the student's photo here was taken with a fisheye lens and then the article falsely claimed it was the curvature. Do you see the deception? See the deception. 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 I'm tired of trying to fucking wake people up. I'm tired of that shit. Fuck these guys that all I believe fucking fish a story. Why would they lie? They could never pull something like that off. Then that would mean that everybody was in on it. No way. You didn't say that on CNN. God, I want to get those motherfuckers. Oh, fool these motherfuckers easily. They bite. What about satellites? Did you know that NASA has hundreds of these satellite balloons up in the air right now? I never knew these NASA satellites existed before Flat Earth. Have you seen them? Google and many other companies have fleets of these balloons as well. Look up Project Loon. The fact that NASA and its subsidiaries hardly discuss these so-called satellites was a huge proof for me because it evinces a deliberate effort to conceal the fact that space satellites don't exist. Don't exist. The whitewash of these balloon satellites is evidence that they are lying about space satellites. These high altitude balloons can carry 8,000 pounds and include telescopes, radar equipment, communications equipment, internet, etc. Here's one that almost killed some people. Finally, look at these actual NASA videos of satellites. They are manifestly fake. Look at this one. 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 Imagine we live on a flat fucking world. All, all this time we thought we lived on a round planet, huh? We have no fucking evidence to believe that we're on a round planet, only by people telling us. But we really don't know who Eleven. We are, where we came from, who the fuck is our not, purpose here. I'm not. It's fucking insane. Fuck my whole brain up, right? Y'all just got me going in so many directions right there. So all the astronauts are just actors. Actronauts. 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 Have you ever looked away from Earth into the black void? Yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah, because yeah, you time. can see, yeah, because yeah. you can see the stars. Oh, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah, the stars. Yeah. There's more than stars, you can see planets, you right. can see moons. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface. I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Corolla what, what stars we could see. 
I don't remember seeing any. Can't wait to see Chris Hadfield and tell him that my buddy thinks he's an actor. I can't wait to see him either and say, nice try, bud. Didn't fool me. So though. Chris Hadfield has never been to space, is what you're telling me? Never. No one has. No one has. The world is, is so generous in its beauty, and, and you do your best to, to take pictures of it. It's just it's just flat and gorgeous to see. It's just flat and gorgeous to see. All I'm offering is the truth.